Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews, and now too, and on today's video, we'll be taking a look at why is my system actually lagging or overheating? Keep watching to find out why. Okay, so in today's video, we'll be taking a look at uh, some ways of diagnosing what is going wrong with your system. Now, for some people, it's a relatively painless task. You can just work out what's going on with your system. It's overheating, you feel something, it's hot. But for others, you get problems when maybe you're gaming or maybe the system's under a particular load and you just can't figure out what is going on. So there's various things you can do to diagnose the problem and that sometimes will involve installing tons of software and hours and hours of actual investigation rather than actually getting on and using your computer, which can be a real pain. But luckily, built into Windows, there is a thing called Xbox Game Bar. Now, you're probably thinking, well, what the heck is that going to do to help me work out what is going on with my system? But there is actually a neat little feature actually in Game Bar, which can help you diagnose certain issues. So let's head over to the PC behind me now, and we'll take a look, see what it can do, and see how it can help you diagnose your issues with your gaming or your underload situations. So this is our Windows 11 PC, and as you can see, we've got a bunch of software on here and things to benchmark and diagnose, etc. We've got OCCT, Crystal Disk, all those kinds of things. And sometimes the system does lag for some apparent reason, which we don't entirely know why. So what we can do is we can press the Windows key and G, and we get this. So this is the Xbox Game Bar. So this is just a welcome message. You can go in here and it tells you what you can do. There's tons of other things you can do in this particular thing for streaming and for sharing music, gameplay, etc., etc., That is essentially what it's for. But if we look down here in the bottom left-hand corner, we've got this performance tab. So this is actually really useful because it tells you performance of your CPU, your GPU, how much VRAM you're using, how much system RAM you're using, and what your FPS is. Now you can, if you want to, you can actually make this slightly smaller. And of course, the one thing you can do, which is actually very good because some of you may not want to see all of this stuff on your desktop, is you can actually pin sections of it. So if you want to, you can actually pin the performance section, or if you're a streamer, maybe you want to pin the capture section, but we won't do that for now. So if we press the Windows key and G again, and there we go. So it's got rid of the overlay, apart from the bit we actually want here. So you can still do things like you can minimize it and maximize it, and you can check out what is going on. You can click on GPU so you can get a graph. You can click on VRAM, get a graph, all that kind of stuff. So all those kind of usual things but it's really handy because it doesn't really distract from what you're doing. So you can have it tucked away. You can't even get it down onto the taskbar, etc. So let's see what it actually does. So if we go into CPU Z here and we go into the benchmark setting and we'll just do stress CPU. So immediately you can see here, our graph is changed down in this bottom left-hand corner and we are pegged at 100%, which is fine if you're doing benchmarking, that kind of stuff. But actually in normal use, if this is what you're seeing on your PC whilst in a game or whilst you're just doing anything at all. That's really pushing your system a little bit too hard. Now the same is for VRAM and obviously RAM etc. So at the moment we're only using 25% of our system RAM. But if we opened up a bunch of programs, so let's stop this for a minute and let's open up Cinebench which we've uh, got here and we'll run a quick Cinebench on the multi-core and again we'll see some things change. So obviously our RAM allocation is jumped right up I'm lucky in this system that I've got 16 gigs of RAM, but for those of you actually on lower RAM, you may find that you're actually spiking your RAM and running out of RAM. So then you have to start using swap file, etc., which will give you lag and spikes in your gameplay. Now again, obviously our CPU here is pegged pretty much all the time at 99 or 100%, which for general use would be awful. You would, it would be a very laggy and horrible experience. Our GPU is at only at 1%, so that's absolutely fine. Again, our VRAM is only at 6%, so those are fine as well. But this is going to give you a good idea of actually how you can monitor your system and look out for potential issues. If you've got this running and you're just playing a game of Counter-Strike or Cyberpunk, any of those kinds of things, whatever it is, if you're seeing any of these spiking up to kind of like in, in and around the 80, 90% or even 100% in some cases, that is going to point to one of these actually being an issue. Now, obviously the CPU one could come down to the processor throttling, so you want to look at temperatures as well. But this will give you an idea of if your system is actually able to produce. So if you've got your game setting and you've got it maybe at 1080p ultra settings and you're finding your GPU is at 100% pegged all the time, then that's probably not gonna be great because any other system calls is gonna give you lags and spikes. 
So that is essentially what we want to be looking at. This isn't a definitive video, obviously, on diagnosing your PC. If you want more help with diagnosing your PC, then you can head over to our Discord chat and we can discuss it there in more detail and look at other options. But this, for most people, is going to be really simple to do. Literally, all you need to do, press the Windows key and the G key, and it'll bring up the Gamebox bar. It's pre-installed with Windows 10 and Windows 11, so you don't have to install any additional software. It's just there ready and waiting for you to use. Obviously, if you want to get rid of it after, all you need to do is get rid of the pin section there, and then press the Windows key and G once more, and you're back to your normal desktop. So there you go, there is how to use the Windows Game Bar to actually help diagnose your system, see if you're actually pushing your system a little bit too hard. If you're getting up to those high 100% markers in any of those tabs, so your CPU, your VRAM, memory, etc., etc., you are going to get stutter and lag in your games, especially if it's spiking at certain points. Obviously, if you're not too sure why it's spiking, then, like I said, please do reach out to us on our Discord and we can try and go through your system and see what is actually going on, see if there's anything happening which shouldn't be, or maybe give you some suggestions on how to lower those percentages to give you a nice, smooth gameplay experience. So anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.